In example 6, we've been given both the function f of x, which is a third degree polynomial. You'll see the graph of f of x on the bottom of the page, as well as f prime of x. Notice, if you look at the equation, this is the derivative of f of x. And we've also been given a graph of f prime of x on the top of the page. In this problem, we're being asked to consider the value integral f prime of x dx on the interval from x equals 0 to 6. So we want to look at both of these graphs and make sure we understand the meaning of this definite integral value on each of these graphs. So let's first of all start with the top graph. The top graph is the graph of f prime of x. It's a parabola. And if we were being asked to find the integral from 0 to 6 f prime of x dx, since this is a graph of f prime of x, what we're being asked to do is to find this area between this rate function and the x-axis, where we count area below the x-axis as negative. So we're going to take this area here, which is close to being a triangle, but it's not exactly a triangle. Plus, we'll add in this area counted negative. So if we could find the area between the x-axis and this parabola down here and count it as negative, because it is below the x-axis, we would add in that negative value plus this area between the x-axis and the parabola, this little bitty area over here. So this positive area plus this area counted negative plus this little positive area, add it all up, that would equal this definite integral value. Now how would we find that? Well, now it's not as simple as the previous examples. These are not rectangles and triangles any longer. So I can't just find a simple geometric method to understanding that area. We are going to talk about that in the next video of how to do that exactly. But I just want you to recognize it's certainly not as simple as the previous examples because they're not rectangles, they're not triangles. Finding this, for example, maybe it looks to you like maybe it's a half circle, but it's not. That's a parabola. It's not a piece of a circle. So this area is certainly not a simple question to find. We're going to have to talk about and think about how to do that. Second, a different way, remember, to interpret the meaning of this definite integral from 0 to 6 of f prime of x dx it tells us the accumulated change of f of x from x equals 0 to x equals 6. In other words, it tells us how much f of x went up or how much f of x went down from x equals 0 to x equals 6. So since we have the formula in the graph of f of x, to answer this question, all we need to do is identify how high is f of x when x is 0. We have the formula, so if you plug in 0, you will see that the height of the graph is negative 21. And if you plug in 6, you will see that the height of the graph is negative 15. We see that it increases 6 units between x equals 0 and x equals 6. What I've learned is that the value of this definite integral is 6. I've learned that the integral from 0 to 6 of prime of x dx is 6. f of x increases 6 units on this interval. If I had a method for finding these areas up here between f prime of x and the x-axis, all of this would add up to 6. Remember, this area up here will be positive. We're going to count this area down here as negative because it's below the x-axis. And then we also add in this little bitty area here, which will be positive. And if we could find a method for finding those areas, they would all add up to 6. All right, so how could we possibly go about finding those? 
Remember on the previous pages that we were able to easily find these areas when we had rectangles and when we had triangles. And that is going to lead us to a nice method for identifying this using rectangles as estimates to filling in that area. And then we're going to eventually take a limit of areas of rectangles to fill in this area. And that's what we're going to do in the next video so that we can find a method for finding these areas of these difficult figures.